नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श सु वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर नाइन सोल ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड सेवन साइंस फ्रॉम द लास्ट पार्ट वी आर डिस्कसिंग सोल प्रोफाइल एंड इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी डिड एन एक्टिविटी टू सी दस ऑफ soil and from there we conclude that the soil is made up of various type of particles that what we discussed in the last part in soil profile and what is humus we discussed about humus also what is humus the dead rotting material in the soil is known as humus that is also we discussed now in this part you might be aware of that the soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks by the action of wind water and climate the soil is formed by what the soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks by what by the things by the action of wind water and climate this process is called withering this called this process is called withering so how soil is formed or if you are asked what is withering then you should answer this now withering is actually breaking down of rocks that is also known as withering only so the soil is formed in this this process in this way the nature of any soil depends upon the rocks from which it has been formed the nature of any soil depends upon the rocks see soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks as a way now the nature of any soil depends upon the rocks from which it has been formed and the type of vegetation that grows in it if you see any soil then see each and every soil has its nature you can see the soil near by the uh, sea area coastal areas you can see the soil near by the river banks you will find different type of plants growing into that soil and from that soil the nature of the from that plants and the uh, the soil breaking down from the type of rock it depends upon that is that uh, creates the nature of the soil then a vertical section through different layers of the soil is called the soil profile what is soil profile a vertical section through different layers of the soil is called the soil profile uh, now come on the open page number 98 open page number 98 Uh, let's go further each layer differs in film film means texture so each layer differs in film that is texture color depth and chemical composition chemical composition these layers are referred to as horizons these layers are referred as horizons so what are horizons see we are further going to discuss about horizons so what are horizons each layer differs in film color depth and chemical composition these layer are referred to as horizons now uh, observe the figure 9.3 observe figure 9.3 in which you can see different layers are going there and it is written not as layer but like a horizon b horizon c horizon and d horizon you can see here this is the figure 
and observe this figure. Now let's uh, start our discussion from here. We usually see the top surface of soil naturally, right? We usually see the top surface of soil, not the layers below it, not the layers below it. If we look at the sides of a recently dug ditch, we can see the inner layers of the soil. Such a view enables us to observe the soil profile as that at that place. See, different places have different type of soil profiles. So, if we see the recently dug ditch, uh, we can see the inner layers of the soil. Such a view enables us to observe the soil profile at that place. Soil profile can also be seen while digging a well or laying the foundation of a building. Soil profile also can be seen while digging a well. Why? Because generally well used to be, they used to dig the well up to more than 25 feet to 50 feet, sometimes 100 feet. So that we can see, we can observe the layer of the uh, soil as well as it can also be seen at the sides at a road on a hill or at steep river bank. It, it can also be seen at the sides of a road on a hill or at a steep river bank. Suppose there is a road and where uh, there is a road and it is on the hill. The road is on the hill. So at the lower road we can see the hill and some the second thing is steep river bank. Now what is steep? See steep is rising or falling at a sharp angle. What is steep? rising or falling at a sharp level that is steep steep river bank so uh, over there we can see the layers of the uh, soil the uppermost horizon is generally dark in color now we are discussing about the horizons or about the layer of the soils so first of all let's discuss the uppermost horizon that is a horizon you can see in this figure a horizon the uppermost layer now let's see the uppermost horizon is generally dark in color as it is rich in humus and minerals the uppermost horizon is dark in color as it is rich in humus and minerals the humus makes the makes the soil fertile. What is the role of the humus? Humus make the uh, soil fertile and provides nutrients to growing plants. Humus provides nutrients to growing plants. This layer is generally soft, porous and can retain more water. It is called the top sill or a, a horizon. Top, sea, uh, top soil, sorry, top soil or a horizon. So that is the uppermost layer. We can say it is top soil or a horizon. This provides, matlab, this horizon provides shelter for many living organisms such as worms rodents, moles and beetles, the roots of small plants are embedded entirely in the topsoil. So this is about a horizon or topsoil and this is, suppose you are asked to that, explain a horizon, then you should start from here, the uppermost horizon is generally dark in color. 
from there so underline also you may go if you want you may underline it also and up to what you should answer that up to this uh, this one that uh, embedded uh, the roofs of small plants are embedded entirely in the top seal up to that you should answer that is about a horizon now let's discuss about b horizon the next layer has a lesser amount of humus but more of minerals this layer is generally harder and more compact and is called the b horizon or the middle layer so that is b horizon or middle layer then after the third layer is the c horizon which is made up of small lumps of rocks with cracks and crev crevices below this layer is the bedrock which is hard and difficult to dig with a spear so we discussed about the three layers upper three layers a horizon b horizon and c horizon then after there is to be bedrock and uh, which is hard and difficult to dig with spear so this is about this soil profile that what we discussed once again two to three time both this video as well as uh, read your textbook and by this time we are closing or ending this part and we'll meet you in the next part thank you thank you for joining us take care of yourselves and we'll meet you in the next session thank you